Apparently you can't go do that in that tank. Again, it lacks the the umph. Oh well, there's a blooper for you. Hi guys, and welcome back to another tank review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Object 155. This tank is a special gift given to the beta testers uh, who made it into the second round that wasn't the buy-in. Uh, the first round was a buy-in and of course um, we did get a... Uh, I don't think we got a unique tank just for that. Anyway, uh, the Object 155 is treated as a premium tank. However, unlike other premium tanks as you can see here like the Zhao and the... Uh, crappy T92, this tank, the Object 155, shows no affiliation to any of the dealers. So using this tank will not let you progress in any of the dealers. It's solely just meant to do one of two things. Level up your commanders and get you credits. That's it. That is it. End of. So, what about the Object 155? Well, first things first, it was a interim tank. It was meant to replace the T-54, both the Model A and the Model B. Unfortunately, the Model B actually outperformed the Object 155 in field testings. However, in factory testings, the Object 155 beat it. Now, of course, this tank's not going to cost you anything because it's given to you for those who were beta players. Now. The reason why I'm reviewing this tank is because it was asked of me on Twitter, and so here it is. And of course, guys, if you want to uh, want me to review any of my tanks that you see in my current garage, or just a tank in general, tweet it at me, and my Twitter is deceptive. Co it's twittercom slash cobras. Video. Uh, the link to that is in the video description. So first things first, what do I think of this tank? Professionally, from a tank driver's perspective, i.e., mine. Um, the only T-Class T tanks I ever saw in active combat were basically wrecks. Um, tanks that I was shooting at or being shot at. Now, the gun in question to this tank, uh, I believe it's using the 125. I believe it uses the, the prototype Soviet 125 uh, cannon. Uh, so we'll just quickly double check that real quick via the upgrades. No, it's using the uh, D10T. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, that gun was used in the uh, IS-8 and a lot more Cold War era tanks. Bear in mind that this tank was designed in 1957, so that would make sense that it's using the Cold War era stuff. The uh, 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 the T70, I believe, uses the 125. Um, we can double check that real quick. Uh, there is the T72. She uses the 125. I was correct. Haha. -ha. See, I did pay attention there, Staff Sergeant. <laughs> but uh, most importantly, this tank only gets one retrofit slot. You're thinking, oh, a, a level three tank that only gets one retrofit slot. I, I personally, again, think that the tank should have indeed at least two retrofit slots. Uh, but, you know, the powers that be over Obsidian said no, she gets one. Now, I did choose to go with more hit points. Reason why I went with the internal hull reinforcements over anything else is because it is the most effective for the money. As you can see, I do have the uh, uh, imp uh, improved spool liner, but I'm not using it. Simply put, yes, it does increase my crew saves, but it doesn't give my tank enough hit points. And frankly, if you're taking that many hits, saving your crew is the last thing you want to do because you're just prolonging that agony. Now, of course, I, uh, I usually load up heat ammunition first because most tanks you're going to come across are usually the scouting tanks in this vehicle. If you do come across any of the the, the uh, 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 higher armor tanks, of course you've got your high velocity armor pissing, dis discarding saber rounds. Now, those rounds are, are 
The penetration value on these rounds are incorrect. They should be at least 250. Uh, they've got it marked at 219. The velocity is on par, and the fire rate at 8 seconds-ish, uh, it would depend on the crew. Um, but frankly, this does use a diesel engine, which means fires are extremely rare. However, I have gone ahead and bought my typical rack of consumables, which is a repair kit, first aid kit, and fire extinguisher for that off chance. My commander in preference, believe it or not, is Philip. I prefer Phil, uh, 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 Phil over the... Uh, now, again, most people assume I would use Victor, seeing how he is a Soviet tank driver. But no, or, or um, that I would use... Um, Maximilian again Victor in my honest uh, sorry Philip in my honest opinion is the better tanker for the job reason being is um, he has uh, he, he prefers main bat line battle tanks and main line battle tanks are not good at wolfing they're better off being their own and his abilities of course trigger the moment and then as you just saw module damage increased by 20% while near an allied vehicle so basically while well, you're next to an ally and they take damage, or, or, or better yet, when you're just near them, you do an additional. You have a tw an additional 20% chance to take out tracks, engine, petrol, drivers, because crew members are considered modules. Reload rate is reduced by 10% for for 15 seconds when a nearby ally is damaged. Again, you get to fire off even faster. Accuracy in general is improved by roughly 10% and reduces your repair time on your weapon systems by 50%. So he's expecting you, he's expecting your tank to take that hit, to be hit, to take that punishment. Thus, this is why I decided to go with the uh, internal hull reinforcement over anything else. Yes, it is a universal slot. Yes, I could have gone with the crumb line barrel. Yes, I could have gone with the advanced thermal sleeve to get reload rate, rate down. But really, why? It's not going to help. Again, you're packed with other friendly tanks. They're going to be shooting at your targets that you're shooting at as well. Um, as for technology-wise, you could have gone with the internal comm system. Again, that um, that improved your tank overall by 5% for every one of your crew members. Your gunner, your loader, your driver, your commander, just all around in general. I would stay away from the enhanced sight interface unless you're planning to play a light tank. Same as the augmented optics. Again, only if you're going to play a light tank otherwise stay the hell away same as the security control package again it's for light tanks technology section is most roughly mostly for light to medium tanks most notably i use a lot in my leopard one as you can see my leopard one's got the transmission upgrade because the leopard one just needs that little bit of more oomph going to hull reinforcements and the chrome line barrel but let's get back to the object 155 shall we the object 155 personally i think this tank is fun to drive um, again typical Soviet uh, 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 gunnery which means the gun doesn't aim up or down for shit uh, so don't expect to shoot at targets that are roughly 10 degrees which is about here higher than your tank so let's go ahead and do a PVE mission real quick uh, no I'm here we go we'll start my daily contracts and again, I prefer to use premium tanks in the PVE just to give me that little extra cash. Again, with the exception, of course, of my Zal, which is my little tank destroyer right here. Uh, I tend to use that in PvP simply because they're just she's just deadly. Four second reload rate. Oh, good lord, shells flying down range. Here we go. We are on Operation Spearhead. And so this should be a fun little map. Again, bear in mind that the tank itself does have an eight second reload. So you, you know, tend to shoot and then if you've not been spotted, you know, get behind cover if you have been spotted. So you've always got to think, I've got to move. All right, all right. Oh look, we've got a funky tank there. And we're gonna destroy the generators, which shouldn't be that hard. Now bear in mind, there's gonna be a tank destroyer it initially comes down this way so again we're loading the heat ammo first you hear the wood cracking because of the wind visually this game is stunning Motor, heat. Black Company. Oh, the PNM has taken control of a wood. gas refinery and are diverting the fuel to their base of operations oh. they say they take again, from the rich and give to the poor 
Now I'm in his engine. Move quickly and recapture the refinery. Dead. So, I got spotted, so as you saw, time to get in the move. Yes, my tank has a six and a half second reload using heat and an eight second using Sabre. Why? The rounds. The round weight is different. Right in the side there, it spotted me. Hang up a little. Come on. She's down. Yes, we took a, sm a slight piece of light damage in the side. Thought I could angle myself. Show my tracks. Unfortunately, that was an, uh, that was definitely a cat man do. We have a Sheridan. Now him. Now my main threat is going to be that Sheridan because his gun is literally going to. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Goodbye. I told you the T92 was a horrible tank. Ah, Sheridan nailed me. Got him. Now I don't run the resupply. Um, Identify. Consumable. Take up the refinery generator. That's the gas flow while we finish the job. Incoming, incoming. Oh, better move, Artie. Whew. Maybe the artillery's been spotted. It's an M109. That would have ended my day if it would have hit me. Now I'm at half health. So, you know, I'm going to play a little bit more conservative now. Bag me five kills. And so, again, you want to pack up with the other buddies so I can get my perks from the tank commander. Again, most people... It's not just solely about the, the, the tank, it's also about the commander, guys. Okay, uh, Sabrina, she's the American with Sabrina Washington. She is Don't perfect for, for scout and tank destroyers. That's and a T-62, he will sure punch a hole in me. We've immobilized him, but he did, did hit us. I'm going to try and side scrape a little. Oh, we just bounced a shot, but we missed our. Uh -oh. Ouch! Ah, oh, they got us. Like I said, the tank clearly does need an extra uh, uh, retrofit slot, and I don't think the tank's going to get it. Um, it really does need an it, it, even if it was just that uh, uh, another universal so that players can kick the tank out it would be a lot better so I'll see you guys in the next battle and we are back guys we are here on pipelines looks like it's an even Stevens match but they do have three deadly dragons so we're going to have to be very careful of those guys. And they do actually have an artillery piece. So, huh, that is interesting. Now, I know for a fact that the tank destroyers are probably going to go this way. And I'm looking to eat some tank destroyers. So that's where we're going to head. We're going to head that direction. Again, nothing's changed. The crew's the same. Um, here we go. And yes, I do have the ammo loaded first. Again, there's no point in loading anything. No point in loading anything else. Uh, really, uh, unless we're going up against some serious tier, uh, tier 4, tier 5 tanks that have some really hard gun mantlets to break. Okay, so there's a Leopard 1 that's been spotted. Again, not our biggie. Uh oh. That's not cool. So you're telling me there's no way I can get across here. Yeah, they did. Alright, screw it. Push. We're the merge! Come on. Nope. Apparently you can't go do that in that tank. Again, it lacks the the oomph. Oh well. There's a blooper for you. Only gets the one module, but it's rank two. And if this tank was supposed to surpass the T-54, 
which it initially did, with the exception of the T54 Mark B beating it in field trials, don't you think it should have at least one more retrofit slot? Seriously, Obsidian, what are you thinking? Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this review. And I will see you in the next one. And don't forget, keep your shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.